are structured and who are organized win in SEO because SEO is a long game and it's not a matter of like sweating it out over a few weeks, right? That's not the game at all. The game is long and hard. So if you're disciplined and organized, I think organization is a super necessary thing if you're going to succeed. But I think, you know, when you think about any business, don't you think all of the business owners that you respect, like all the business owners who are consider are achieving what I consider high velocity or like they're, they're, you know, they're moving quite fast and uh, they're, the demands on them are really high. I think a lot of them simplify their life and a lot of them organize their life and they don't have their life as a chaotic mess because uh, that's hard to manage. So they want to uh, structure their lives in a way that makes it easier for them to do their job. And that's, I think, what a lot of the successful business owners that you see really capture is they've disciplined themselves, they're playing the long game, and uh, they're, they're organized to make these things happen. I think the, the real question is like how to not lose hope in the side of the long view, like how to not lose hope in the long game. And honestly, that's a tough one because when I first lost my job in the agency about four or five years ago, I wanted to hop into retail. I wanted to do part-time work while I nursed this SEO thing at the side. And uh, unfortunately, no one hired me because like, I don't know, maybe maybe they could tell I wasn't really invested, but I know that allowed me to be fanatically sort of obsessed and uh, just really focus on one thing. But that's not to say I haven't lost hopes at any given time, but um, you gotta you gotta look within yourself and try to decide, well, here's the thing with me. I liked this stuff. I, I, I've always enjoyed screwing around on the computer. I've always enjoyed learning stuff and I mean, Though that's two very fundamental things is you gotta, you gotta be okay with time on the computer and you gotta be cool with learning stuff. So um, I always knew that uh, I could find enough stuff for me to stay mesmerized in this world and stay at it, but not everyone feels that way. So I hope that um, people find the one thing that they're, that really kind of like scratches that itch for them. Cause like I had to, this is not my first career. This is my, not my second career. This is likely my third or fourth career, but, you know, I took a lot of soul searching and, and I realized like I could do this stuff uh, even if I wasn't going to make it big, quote unquote, because I like the puzzles that I'm working on. Um, now there's a few opportunities that have pushed me to make me realize that's kind of a narrow way to look at it. And if you're good at something, you might as well do it completely. But I, I hope everybody finds their thing that allows them to maintain hope when the road gets difficult because uh, I like talking about the entrepreneurial journey and the path and uh, anybody who's walking the path knows the path is not easy but you got to find enough mental rewards and I don't think it's dollar amounts I don't think dollar amount is the you know if you're focusing on dollar amounts and you just want to make x number of dollars then you can do that any number of ways but I got to live with this existence. I got to live here in this lifestyle that I've built. And so you got to be okay with the bargains that you make for, in order to get the things that you want, right? So if something is just completely detestable by you and you can't possibly do that work, maybe don't do that work. Um, when I started off, I said yes to everything. I said yes to everything. And some people say, don't do that, but it very quickly taught me what I was good at and what I didn't like. So I think there's a certain point to stop saying yes as well, because as the business owner, as, you know, as the incumbent or the high velocity performer, you know, if you look at your favorite entrepreneur or star or favorite star, they, they say no to 90% of the stuff. But I think starting off, I said yes to a lot of stuff so I could uh, go around the block a few times, see what I like, see what I didn't like, and then um, try to find a way to do that every day. If you find a way to optimize your schedule to where you're producing towards that one goal, even just a little bit every day, you know, the marginal gains over many years will be quite powerful.